It is super early in the morning, but we are here out Funko Pop hunting at the Wayne Toy Show. Here we go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I've actually got Isabel with me, and we're up bright and early, and we're here at the Wayne Toy Show in New Jersey. We didn't get up as early as we initially planned on because uh, we had a birthday party yesterday for Isabel and we were up pretty late with our live stream. So that's okay. You know, we got a little extra sleep. Not much. That's why we looked dead. But yeah. we're about to go Funko Pop hunting. We are going to try to find Isabel a birthday pop and we're also going to see if we can see what these uh, Fun Days and Super Rare Freddies look like in person because I know several vendors here who actually have brought them straight from the event. So we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and let's go hunting. All right, so here we go. Headed right on into the main floor here with all the vendors. And I'm actually gonna pan from right to left here so you guys can see just how many sellers and booths there are to check out. But in the corner of my eye, I immediately spotted a big pop booth. So I started to make my way over here and it turned out to be none other than the NJ Devil Collectibles booth. And to even more of my surprise, we found the loot. Check out this bin of Fun Days Freddy's. This was exactly what we were looking for. We got the 500 piece Captain Hook Freddy right there. There is the 900 piece Glow in the Dark Crown Kraken's mascot. Here is the 900 piece Glow in the Dark Blacklight Buccaneers mascot. Both of those are super cool and I had to pull out this Blacklight Freddy right here. Freddy Funko as Jazz, limited to only a thousand pieces, but it gets better. Here is the Hogwarts student, 900 piece Freddy Funko. This next one right here is Freddy Funko Metallic Elvis, thousand piece on that one. Could not believe that these were just sitting here. And of course I had to be super careful because all of these just made it to the East Coast. Here is the beautiful Pirate Freddy, 3,400 pieces on him. And then up next we have the uh, I believe 750 piece Zartan Freddy from G.I. Joe. So I snugly put that one back. There's actually another Pirate Freddy. I just love this Freddy so much. So that's why I took out the second one to look at. And then I had to uh, curb my curiosity here and check out this final one, which was the 3400 piece show only Freddy Funko as Captain Hook. So pretty crazy that we stumbled upon that bucket basically seconds after getting into the con. Here was a bunch of autographs that had yet to be put on display. You saw that fluffy autograph. There's a Raphael autograph. Actually, there was a handful of fluffy autographs, but we are now going to take a look at the main setup here for NJ Devil Collectibles. He had a few sodas right here. So this is the five, or excuse me, 700 piece blue pirate freddy soda then we had the 500 piece golden pirate freddy soda and then there's another blue one here 700 pieces on this pirate freddy and then a i believe yep 500 piece red pirate proto so pretty cool to see those as well you saw in the uh, bottom corner there the six inch damaged Baymax and I spotted some more Freddy's here is another Freddy Funko as Captain Hook There is the blacklight Freddy Funko as Jazz from Transformers another metallic Elvis another Zartan Another Hogwarts student there is the Rocky that was limited to a thousand pieces as well as um, I forget which one that was then we have the Gold D. Roger. That was a big surprise, and I know a lot of One Piece fans were very excited for that one. Some were upset because it's going to be a hard one to get, but um, still pretty cool that Funko dropped a non-Freddy limited piece. They also released quite a few protos, and I'm guessing that's where these came from. Um, right there, you actually have a Marty McFly Soda Proto, which I thought was pretty cool next to that Pokemon one. Here's a couple more. There's a baseball player. Not sure which one that is. And then he always has a ton of autographs. But check these out. Freddy Funko Glow, 500 piece as Shredder, 250 piece Blacklight Penguin, 250 piece as Freddy Funko um, as the Red Martian. Uh, Marvin the Martian. Then we had a pair of Blue Rangers. This is the 500 piece metallic as well as the glow in the dark 250 piece Blue Ranger. I gotta say I kind of like the metallic finish just a little bit more. There is the 500 piece Freddy Funko as Proto followed up by another Gold D. Roger from One Piece. And there was a metallic Marty McFly Freddy as well. Always love seeing that Harrison Comics glow in the dark Ghost Rider but man 
And Jay Devils, he cleaned up at Fun Days. He brought home some really nice stuff. So that was a treat, getting to see his booth. And um, yeah, once again, go give him a follow. That is what his logo and branding looks like. And now let's slide on over to this next smaller booth. And I didn't see any uh, Fun Days items, but still had to check out what they had. And they actually had some really cool anime pieces. So right there you have the Sniper King, Glow in the Dark Zoro, Buff Chopper, Luffy Gear 2, there's a bunch of those, as well as the uh, Roanoa Zoro, Snake Man, Luffy, Caesar Clown from C2E2, that was a big one, as well as Marco, there is the Luffy Gear 5, Glow Chase, and then a couple Freddies from last year, you've got the Green Ranger, Metallic Cap, as well as a Glow Green Ranger, so pretty cool, last year we got the Green Ranger, this year we're getting the Blue Ranger, and then of course you got your classic OG Michelangelo, love that one, and then here's a bunch of FNAF pops, you got spring trap as well as oh there was a couple more spring traps so now we're gonna move on over to the next aisle here at the show sometimes i like to show off other items that people bring to sell it's not all funko pops you can see there's a hot wheels booth right there um, coming down the row there's tons of bins of comics and books and all kinds of uh fun stuff to pick up to my right over here, I actually spotted Captain America's shield, so definitely had to check that out. I believe that's the Hasbro shield, if I'm not mistaken. I didn't pick it up to see what branding shield that was, but always love seeing a nice, clean Captain America's shield. Over here, I spotted some really unique Star Wars items. So you got that battle droid right there, as well as the Slave One from Hasbro. There's a Razor Crest, as well as the super funny Mandalorian Mr. Potato Head. Couple cool Lego sets right here. Love this battle pack with the Death Troopers and the Storm Troopers. That one is awesome. There was also a couple more with the Mandalorian Lego battle pack, as well as the Senate Commandos. There was also a steal here on this Dark Trooper set. Can't believe that was only $30. And then the Death Star gift with purchase from 2023, May the 4th. But check out these really cool Star Wars Black Series figures as well. You've got Commander Fox, which we don't have a Funko Pop of. There's Darth Vader. Um, who else was that? We had the uh, Bomb Squad Trooper there. And then right here we have a really cool Captain America Marvel Legends 2-pack right there with Peggy. Really awesome Master Chief Halo helmet. And then coming over here we had some more interesting items at this booth with some action figures. Lots of DC and Marvel figures. He did have a couple Funko Pops, which was cool. But check out this animated series giant Batmobile. Man, if I had unlimited space, I would definitely take that home. Wasn't sure on the price, though. Then we have uh, the Michael Keaton Batman, as well as Tom Hardy's Bane. And then over here, I did spot a really cool OG chase. That's the Blacklight Shredder, which you do not see very often these days. So pretty cool to see this booth with a lot of variety. So now we're going to make our way over to the next large Funko Pop booth. And this is M&J Collectibles. And it must have taken them hours to make this giant, beautiful setup that they had at the show. I mean, look at all of these figures. Can you imagine? Imagine stacking each and every single one of them. They looked beautiful the way they had it set up. And they were actually in the process of making a few trades with some people that I had the pleasure of speaking to for a couple minutes. Um, they brought in some of their boxes of fun to see what they could trade for, which I think is awesome to see in the community. Here is a black and white pirate proto 3000 piece soda. There was the Freddy Funko as Andy, Freddy Funko as Jazz, and then the Blacklight Pirate Freddy soda. Man, I need that one so bad. I hope we pull that one this week. And then you had a really cool OG Disney Grail right there with George Sanderson, but getting back to M&J Collectibles booth, they had several San Diego Comic-Con exclusives, including Kermit, Godzilla, and then here is a con sticker Kermit. Up there, you also had a con sticker Gojo. Right here is the Wicked Witch with Winged Monkey, Marvin the Martian, and Edna Mode from The Incredibles. All shared sticker, but all great nonetheless. Over here, they had Captain Enoch and the vaulted Black Box Clone Trooper. LA Comic Con holographic Ahsoka. I just panned, you know, had to look, especially when I see Star Wars stuff, and I know there's a lot of WWE fans. Um, Isabel wanted me to point out that super faded Luke Skywalker right there, and they also had a BAM exclusive Ahsoka's 332nd Clone Trooper, as well as one of the newer Thrawns. Now, moving back over to the main floor here, check out, we have the Box of Fun in all its glory right here. Crazy how Franny is on there, but we did not get any sort of pirate franny in pop or soda form. We only got the bitty. So now we're actually going to make our way to the back section.
section of the toy show floor and we're gonna see the biggest booth that we have to talk about here and I stopped really quickly to check out that cute little Captain America and Red Skull Dorbs 2 pack but now we have officially arrived at Pop Stop NYC and he went to San Diego Comic Con he went to Fun Days and he's got some really awesome exclusives on display so check out the vaporizing 001 from Stranger Things he's got a lot of stuff on this table of course but we're actually going to pan to the left and we're gonna check out his main table display so we're gonna start off with a couple exclusives that were actually the pop asia exclusives for san diego comic-con we have ohala as well as blister and chinahu and hopefully i'm saying those correctly but we actually didn't know they were coming until the day of san diego comic-con right there we have the 3000 piece diamond thrawn regular con sticker thrawn and then con sticker darth vader up next we have the 4000 piece protozoa as well as zero with the sunglasses and then the glow in the dark 1500 piece zero with the sunglasses there is the Vaporizing 001, as well as Marvin the Martian and the Fusion Batman Superman, all with con stickers. Then we have the Flame Wingman from Yu-Gi-Oh, Spider-Boy, as well as Kermit, and then check out Godzilla. This thing looks so clean with that green con sticker, really looks amazing. You also had Harry Potter and Shinobu, as well as the very popular Sugar. There's Edna Mode, as well as Mr. Sinister from the X-Men line, as well as Lord Soth, Digum Frog, Gara from Naruto, as well as Gojo, Elmo with Rocco, and Papa Smurf, once again, all with the official San Diego Comic Con 2024 con stickers. Now, moving over, let's check out the Freddies that he was able to bring back from Fun Day. So, we're going to start off with Freddy Funko as the Hogwarts student, 900 piece. Then we have the Freddy Funko as Nebula Reaper from Overwatch, which I know several people were very excited for that one. You have Pirate Freddy. You have this other one right here whose name escapes me. And then you have Freddy Funko as Captain Hook, Freddy Funko as Frodo. There is the thousand piece Blacklight Freddy Funko as Jazz from Transformers, Freddy as Zartan from G.I. Joe, and then another Pirate Freddy. But check out this guy right here, Pizzeria Proto, as well as Roller Drive-In Franny. Both of those were limited to 1,500 pieces, and you guys are looking at the only Franny pop that we got for San Diego Comic-Con. There was also, of course, the 3,000 piece Mayor Freddy. I love that Blacklight Fright Night Freddy too. And then check out the classic Freddy from last year, Freddy Ranger from last year's Camp Fun Days, limited to 3,200 pieces. Now, he also had several of the newer SpongeBob Pops, and I know Joanna wants a few of these for our collection at some point. So I just panned over those really quickly and then we actually have another glow-in-the-dark Lord Soth from Dungeons and Dragons. Now unfortunately Pop Stop had a really um, tough thing happen to him. He was actually rear-ended and his car was hit pretty badly and he lost quite a few exclusives in the process including this Freddy Funko as Hogwarts student so that's why it is as damaged as it is. We also have the four pack of biddies as well as the metallic Freddy Funko wobbler. Here is the metallic mascot four pack of biddies and then the other biddies that were given out specifically at fun days with the tiny little Mike Becker pirate and uh, the pirate Franny both of those actually and the pirate proto I would have loved to see all those become official pops. Then we have pirate Freddy the gold version 500 piece as well as the con stickers version of Cano Corn Freddy and the Fun Mart Freddy sodas. Over here we have several protos. I recognize the second one here as Rocky and then the one on the end here that looks like Grumpy from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. But we also have a couple more San Diego Comic Con exclusives. There is the 10 inch Arceus from the um, Pokemon line as well as the 5000 piece Voltron, 6 inch damaged Baymax and and then we even have the 1500 piece Glitter Baymax. Um, this one is cool, but I kind of prefer the regular one. The glitter one looks a little off. All right, so just got done with the Choice Show. Picked up some items here. Didn't get anything for Isabel, unfortunately. She didn't see anything that caught her attention or something that she needed, which was a bummer because I wanted to buy her something for her birthday, but it's all right. We'll find her something another day. So uh, we're going to head on home. Had a great time talking to a lot of the vendors and um, we'll show you guys what we picked up when we get back to the studio 
and I think you guys are gonna be pretty excited for one of these pickups in particular. Okay, so we're officially back home here in the studio and I actually have some goodies to show off that I actually got from today's toy show and it was really cool getting to see some of the Fun Days items in person for the very first time. So shout out to all the amazing people that had booths today at the Wayne Toy Show. I heard nothing but positive things and um, a lot of fun stories from Fun Days in San Diego Comic-Con last weekend. So the first order of business here is I actually have to give a huge shout out to my friend Joe, AKA Pop Stop NYC. He actually was super kind and he squirreled away a few items from Fun Days specifically to give to us, which was very, very special and I'm so grateful for him. So the first item that I wanna show off here, he actually gave me this really awesome uh, Pirate Freddy and Pirate Proto postcard from Fun Days. And on the back it actually has, well actually it has on the front as well, but it's in collaboration with eBay and um, just love all the, the artwork and everything. Like it's just simple things like this that really make Funko stand out. So whoever designed this did a great job. I know it's nothing crazy, just a little postcard, but it gets better. He also gave us, cause he gave one for uh, Joanna as well. We got a couple posters here. And uh, once again, like nothing crazy, but just the thought, um, you know, that somebody would take a couple extra seconds and put aside something specifically for us was super kind. So look at this amazing poster. It's like a treasure map, pretty awesome. And uh, something that I would like to get framed for the new house. It would really look awesome in the studio. I love all the little Easter eggs. You've got the big F on the, uh, the pirate ship and everything. Just a really fun little poster and it says Freddy's Fantastic Voyage. So pretty awesome. Oh, and we actually have uh, references to all four of the mascots as well. So you've got the Buccaneers and then the Parrots, the Kraken, and then the, um, the Sharks as well. So pretty cool to see all four mascots and Freddy, of course. So we actually got two. So one for myself and one for Joanna. We might not need both of them in the long run if we end up just framing one for the new studio, but still really nice of him to think of Joanna and myself. And he gave us one more thing. We actually have a limited edition 4,000 piece Funko Fusion Eddie Freddy pin. How cool is that? And it's actually perfect timing because we're trying to scoop up some of the pins from Fun Days and San Diego Comic Con and I do not have this one yet. And I am super excited to see all of the new pops that are gonna be releasing in conjunction with the Funko Fusion game that's coming out in September. So really awesome stuff. So of course, I had to grab some items from Pop Stop's booth. He had some killer stuff, as you guys just saw. And I ended up picking up two Freddies. One from San Diego Comic-Con and one from Fun Days. And um, you guys are going to be pretty excited. At least I think you're going to be pretty excited. So let me show off the first item here. So first up, we have the 3,000-piece Mayor Freddy, which was exclusive to the booth at the con, of course. You had the roller drive-in Franny, as well as the Pizzerio Proto. Those were both 1,500 pieces, but this bad boy right here was 3,000. I actually have one of these on the way for my personal collection. It hasn't arrived yet, but I grabbed this one for a very good friend of mine. You guys have seen him if you've been following the channel for the last couple weeks. Uh, he's been supporting the channel for a long time, and he's someone that uh, really enjoyed just getting to know more and more as we go on here, and that is Jonathan, a.k.a. Mr. Underscore Jonah and I wanted to pick up something special for him because he actually did something really cool and it greatly helped out the channel these last couple weeks so I put out a lot of extra videos regarding San Diego Comic-Con and fun days and tracking prices and all kinds of news and stuff going on and he actually helped me quite a bit with that information gathering so I would not have been able to put out the videos that we put out as quickly as we did without him just taking a couple minutes here and there uh, when he could to uh, gather up some information that I asked of him. So super kind of him to do that. So I wanted to reward him. So I have a Mayor Freddy for him when he gets back. He's on vacation right now, very well deserved with his family and everything. So that's for him. But 
Guys, get ready because this second item could actually be yours and it is super special and of course most of you guys know why but some of you may not um so up next we have the 3400 piece pirate freddy this was given out at fun days you couldn't buy this directly from funko this is such an amazing pop and it's really special because i also have one of these on the way it's not here yet um, thanks to you guys here in the community. During our watch party, several people were super kind, just above and beyond generous, and we had enough money in Super Chats so I could go buy one the night of Fun Days. And I think I actually got the first one that hit the market. It wasn't even an hour after Fun Days had ended at like 3 in the morning, and uh, we were able to snag one. And I cannot wait for that one to get here. But I did mention it on the live, and I am following through with my promise. I said that because people were so generous and we had a little bit of money left over that I would get a second one to use as a giveaway. So if you guys would like to enter into the giveaway here for Pirate Freddy exclusive to this year's fun days, you're going to have to do three things. I know, crazy, I know, but this is a beautiful Freddy. So it's nothing too wild like don't get too upset. So here we go. I'm going to break down the three things really quick. You're going to have to like this video. That's pretty simple. You should be liking it anyway. The second thing that I'm going to ask you guys to do is actually go over to Pop Stop NYC's YouTube channel. He's recently started up his own channel, putting out content and everything. So go subscribe to him. I will put the link right down below so it'll be super easy to find. Go subscribe to him. And then in the comments of this video right down below, I want you to guys to put hashtag Pirate Freddy and technically I guess this is four things, and name one Freddy that you really liked from this year's either Fun Days or San Diego Comic-Con. So technically four parts with that third part being, you know, two things, but it's all combined into that one comment. So to recap, like our video, go subscribe to Pop Stop NYC, and then in the comments down below, hashtag Pirate Freddy with the comment of your favorite Freddy from this year's Fun Days, San Diego Comic-Con, Box of Fun, one of the new Freddies that they released for this year. So we'll draw the winner for this the next time we go live. So um, be on the lookout for that. And I'm pretty excited to see who's gonna win it. If you are in the United States, we will be uh, more than happy to cover shipping. If you're international and you win, you are more than welcome to enter. We'll just have to ask you to cover the shipping cost, uh, but we'll figure it out. So international viewers and stuff, I want you guys to be able to enter. We'll figure out the shipping on the back end and everything. So um, shout out to Pop Stop NYC. Just want to send some people over his way because he was super kind and grabbed some little goodies for us from uh, Fun Days. Very, very nice of him. So guys, since today is Monday, it is time for our weekly Monday motivation segment every single week here on the channel we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week which is typically Monday and today's Monday motivation is actually going to be inspired by my main man Jonathan who is actually on a little vacation with his wife Elizabeth and their kids right now and it's something that kind of sparked my motivation for today in thinking about what's going on with where we are here in August 2024. I can't believe it's August already, but we are not far from getting back to school, a lot of people going back to college, and I know some people, their jobs might be a little bit slower right now, and then things will pick up again, especially as we head into the holiday season in a few short months, which is just crazy to think about. But I think it's really important for today's Monday motivation for you guys to find some time to unwind, relax, and spend with family members and friends. Now, it doesn't mean you have to take like a big grand vacation and go to Disney World or go on a cruise or anything like that. It could just be a simple beach day or maybe even something as simple as going for a walk with your wife or your spouse or taking your dog on a nice trail or something. It doesn't have to be anything crazy, but just taking that little time for yourself can help clear up your mind. It can help relieve some stress, um, get you some outdoors time and some exercise is also a big bonus. But I think we put a lot of stress on ourselves without even realizing it. And then now when we have nice weather, we really, really got to take advantage of it because depending on where you are in the world, 
winter is coming and then when winter comes a lot of people are just naturally not as happy they're a little bit more bummed out and then there's also stress with the holidays the holidays is not always a glorious time for everybody because it does come with you know the hustle and bustle of getting presents or missing loved ones that aren't around anymore so now it's really important i think to take some time for yourself get outside spend some time with your friends and family if you can i know we've done that a little bit here this summer and it's been so refreshing and really hoping that we can squeak out a beach day of our own or just continue to take little walks here and there because it really makes a huge difference in our week. So that's gonna do it for today's video, guys. Make sure to follow the rules correctly so you don't miss out on the giveaway. Once again, huge shout out to Pop Stop NYC and thank you once again to everybody in this amazing community. I cannot wait to get my very own Pirate Freddy Funko in hand for the collection. So stay tuned. We got some big videos dropping this week with our San Diego Comic-Con unboxing and we have our boxes of fun hopefully showing up at any minute. So as always, don't stop shooting until you score and we'll see you all very soon.